Hey, what's up, guys? David here from Dignited. Continuing with our Roku series, today I want to show you how you can use your smartphone as a remote for your Roku Smart TV or streaming player. All right, let's get into it. So every Roku device comes with a dedicated physical remote. However, remote controls can easily get lost permanently or temporarily under your couch, pillows, or tossed around by the kids. When that happens, it can be tricky to control your smart TV or streaming player. Luckily, you can use your phone as a remote for your Roku device. This is possible using the Roku mobile app for iOS or Android available from the Apple App Store or Google play store so go ahead and download the roku mobile app for your phone from the respective app stores my setup is a oneplus 9 android smartphone and roku streaming stick plus these steps however should apply to whatever android phone or iphone you have or roku streaming device okay before you set up the roku mobile app with your roku tv or streaming player make sure that your phone and roku tv or streaming player are connected to the same wi-fi network this is really important. You can check the Wi-Fi network name for your Roku device by going to settings and then network and then about. Now you can compare this Wi-Fi name with the Wi-Fi name your phone is connected to. On my OnePlus 9, I can check this by going to settings and then Wi-Fi. As you can see, my phone and Roku device are connected to the same DDWRT Wi-Fi network. All right. The next thing that you should do is to permit your Roku device to accept commands over a Wi-Fi network. You can enable this feature in the settings of your Roku device. So from your Roku device's home screen, go to settings and then system and then advanced system settings and then control by mobile apps and then network access. You can select between default or the permissive option. Either of this choice will set your Roku device to accept commands from a private network. All right, if you've done these two things, then your Roku Smart TV or streaming player will appear on the discovery screen of your Roku mobile app. All right, so I'm going to open the Roku mobile app and then connect it to my Roku streaming stick. All right, so let's just fire it up here on my phone. All right, this is the Roku app. So you want to go to the devices tab, okay? And you can see that the Roku app has discovered my Roku streaming stick. You can see it says a new device found. And when I tap on it, now it is connected. And now I can come to the remote tab here and I can now start controlling the Roku streaming stick using my phone. Okay, let's just try to do that. I'm going to go to the settings. I can see a uh, system about, and yeah, you definitely can just control your Roku device using basically your phone remote, just the way that you would do with the physical remote. All the functions just work. And if you want, you can also launch applications right from your mobile device, from the app itself. So just probably try to launch the Roku channel here. And it is working. So I'm just going to play something and try out the volume controls. Let's just re register volume. All right, so some of the features that you can do on the mobile app here, one of my favorite is you have the mic icon here, which you can use to uh, launch voice commands to your Roku streaming device. And that is especially essential if your uh, physical remote is not a voice remote. That means that you can't use voice commands on it. So with the mobile app, you can actually just use the voice commands here with the mic app. So let's just try that out. Start Netflix. Mm -hmm. 
you can also enable private listening here which means that you can connect uh, your bluetooth headphones to your roku tv through your phone so all you have to do is to pair your bluetooth headphones with your phone then that audio from the roku streaming stick or roku smart tv is then relayed to you through uh, the phone so, so this is again helpful if you don't have one of those roku remotes that come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack yeah otherwise you have playback controls here you have pause play you have rewind and forward uh, you have the navigation buttons here definitely you have the options button right here uh, you have the back button you have the home button and again my favorite is you have the uh, keyboard here so again this is hopeful uh, where you have to enter usernames and passwords for example when you're signing up to streaming services on your roku device and so forth you can actually take advantage of your phone's qwerty keyboard to enter those long passwords and usernames right from the mobile app here at the roku mobile app so that is where it comes really really helpful and obviously you also have the search button here you can search for tv shows and movies and it will launch onto the roku tv and if you close the remote you come to the roku channel here you can actually watch the roku channel right from your mobile device you can choose whether you want to watch it from your phone or from the roku tv itself so let's just try that out let me see here play season one okay it's asking me to sign in so i could do that all right so when i'm signed in and i click on play it will ask me whether i want to play on mobile or on the roku streaming stick so if i chose mobile here it will play right on my phone instead of the roku streaming stick so that is one advantage of actually uh, using the roku mobile app And with the app, you can connect to as many Roku devices that you own. As you can see, I have the Roku Streaming Stick Plus here, and then my TCL Roku TV, both of which I can use to control from the Roku app itself. And the other thing that you can also do is to cast media from your smartphone to the TV. That includes uh, music or photos or videos or, uh, you know, any kind of media that you want from your camera or gallery or whatever. You can ideally just cast all these photos to the big screen. You can see on the, on the TV it's saying play on Roku. Oh yeah, and there you go. This phone has just been cast to the Roku streaming stick. So there's a lot that you can do with the Roku app and I highly encourage you to download it onto your iPhone or Android phone and use it to control your Roku TV, cast media onto it or play some of the content from the Roku channel on your mobile phone. All right, this has been how to set up the Roku mobile app as a remote for your Roku device. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.